Hi guys, Colin Bushel again here. Uh, I know it's been a long time between drinks as far as these videos are concerned, but uh, I've got one to put together today, just a quick one. Uh, I'm out at uh, Woody Point uh, out near Redcliffe here on Moreton Bay, and uh, I've just been doing a, uh, a client shoot for an event. And it struck me that um, often with events like this, uh, they can be very poorly organized. You get no good brief. Uh, you're not really sure what the client wants and, uh, and neither are they often. Um, but this client's been exceptionally good at getting all things prepared. Uh, I thought therefore it was a good opportunity for me to give you uh, a few little tips if you are being asked to or preparing to do a event or a shoot for a client. Here we go. Okay, so tip one is to basically make sure that the client knows exactly what they want. That may seem uh, a little bit obvious, but you'd be surprised sometimes when a client says, I've got this event or this activity or this launch, and I want some photographs, but I don't really know what I need. So try and talk to them beforehand, try and find out exactly what it is they're trying to achieve for their social media, or is it a website, or is it news or press? Do they want the speakers captured? Do they want the whole room? Just try and find out as much as you can before. Try and work with them to actually answer the question on their behalf if they're uncertain. Okay, so tip number two is to find out what they don't want. Now that may seem a bit strange, but one of the best briefs I ever got was from a team of barristers who basically sent me about six or seven links to other lawyers' sites and barristers' sites and legal sites all with clips to websites where they said, we don't want any of this. We don't want the boardroom. We don't want the library behind. We don't want everyone in their gowns. We want relaxed and we want real world. So by understanding what they didn't want, um, that gave me a really good idea where I could go and branch out and look for ideas and do some location scouting. And in the end, we came up with a perfect solution. So again, find out what they don't want as much as what they do want. Okay, so tip number three is to get samples. Okay, now try and get them to send photographs that they've had previously that they may want to replicate or tweak slightly. Get them to send photographs they've had previously which they definitely do not want again, so you've got an idea. But also, if you're unable to get to the location before the shoot and do a bit of a reconnaissance, then get them to send some ideas about what the office space is like, or the location, or the venue, or the place you're gonna be shooting, so you can be a little bit prepared before you turn up. Okay, so tip number four. Okay, this is about your timelines and expectations of those timelines. Now, generally, when you're booked for an event or a session, whatever that might be, uh, there's an agreement up front that it's going to be an hour or two hours or three hours or whatever. Uh, however, invariably, at the event itself, there's always somebody else who wants a shot or can we also throw a group shot in over here and can we wait 10 minutes for the guest speaker uh, to make a presentation, etc., etc. Okay. Now, all this is normal, but you have to factor it in when you're billing uh, or working out your own time for the event and make sure that the client is very clear on what your expectations are. Okay, and the final tip on this little excursion of ours is probably the most important one, and that is to remember who you are. Okay, now we're working on the assumption here that you've been asked or hired as a photographer to go to a location and an event to shoot it for someone. Okay, now assuming that you've got the brief you want, you know what they want, you know what they don't want. Okay, this is the point where it's now up to you. Okay, you need to control the situation by making sure that you group people together correctly, that you frame things properly, that you move people into the areas that you want that work best for the photograph. Okay, the client will want you to help with that on most occasions. They want you to show your expertise and your experience and get people in the right positions. So don't be afraid to move people from where they want to stand over there to where they should stand over there because the light is so much better and the results will be so much better. Be confident in your abilities, but make the location and the session work for you. It will make your lives a lot, lot easier. Okay guys, well there you go, I hope that was useful. Uh, heading home now, so uh, if you are a photographer uh, and you are planning or you've been asked uh, to photograph a particular event, whether that's a work event or a social function, um, then there are some useful tips there will hopefully make your life a lot easier. 
Uh, if you'd like me to clarify any of those or add a bit more detail, please feel free to uh, message me below um, or uh, send me a message via Messenger and uh, I'm only too happy to, uh, to give you some more tips. If you are someone looking to actually hire a photographer, uh, the same rules apply, just with a different pair of shoes on. Um, so again, just contact me and I'm happy to give you some advice about the best way to approach a photographer uh, when you're planning to do an event. Okay guys, well I'm heading home now, so a uh, successful morning out by the bay. Uh, everybody please stay safe out there and I'll catch up with all of you soon. Take care guys, bye.